hi guys hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so today hmm, i'm going to be giving you gist so it's what story time so um first things first you're aware that um in case you did not know <laughs> So we have a new background. So um, someone advised we get like a bigger frame and all that uh, in my first video. If you've not seen it, you should go and check it out. The one I welcomed you guys to my channel. And since then I got a new frame. But I didn't show you in the previous videos, like my second and third video. But mm. now you see. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section. So just time. Hey! So the gist I have for you today is about a couple of things we discussed in class and how um, women in agriculture are about to like enjoy a couple of things. But no, it's not the bad ones. Like I'm not even like women in agriculture are suffering. Maybe they are, maybe they are not. You'll have to find out later. But this is not um, this entire um, this entire video is not to make you feel. <laughs> So so about agriculture, it's just that for you. See, I even came with my daughter. Hmm. So that I can know that I have just for you. So I came with my daughter to tell you about this thing. So um, in case you don't know, <laughs> this channel is about food, health, and world agriculture. So today we're gonna to be talking about agriculture. So a number of years ago, many, many years ago, humans um were primarily feeding on on animals so humans were really great on that i'm talking about like think about the stone age yeah so <laughs> those guys are great on that you know they killed any and every form of animal they were strong like they were really strong guys and a time came and many of those animals they were killing went into extinction because you were you know when you kill the father you kill the mother the generation is able to continue you get what i'm saying well you'll be like boy there's a male and there's a female i mean there has to be a continuation in some way but mm. so according to history humans killed all the animals not all but you get what i'm saying like the animals they were used to feeding on and then they needed a new um form of nutrition and that led to feeding on plants so that led to crop um to, to humans feeding on crops you know what i mean and then that also led to domestication of crops so humans started planting that led to the uh the start of agriculture farming i would say crop production and so um because of because men started eating plants so they now had to start look, when i say men i'm not talking about man as in the male gender i'm talking about human beings you know so they had to get like these crops they realize that if we continue eating it this way it's just going to finish and we would starve and then in their wisdom back then they decided to do what domesticate the crops so they started planting hey and let me tell you there's been different eras since since then and i have just ha there's there's a particular part of this i'm giving you today that is about agent orange that is still my favorite part of this so keep watching so that you can know who or what agent orange is let me quickly refer to my book because i told you that i came here with my book so that <laughs> no part of this juice is gonna what misplace miss <laughs> so so man wanted to feed and then man had, uh, had to feed on plants you get what i mean and guess what <laughs> when men started farming <laughs> It led to what dispute, land dispute. So you know, back then we didn't have this much people on earth, and because people started planting, or I mean, started laying old on wild plants, the plants they found in the wild and forest and all that, land grabbing and all that. So people started planting their own. Then it led to farm dispute. So it's not today when farmers have issues. You know, when you hear about farmland disputes and then this person took this person's land farm has been on since forever from like the beginning of farming among humans so it led to death you know some people even killed their 
uh, competition, you know. If you want this part of the land and this person has taken this part, next thing you see that they just what killed the other person. Why? Because they wanted the land. So that led to um so that leads me to like history of crops. So many of these crops that we eat today, many of us don't know where they are from, but I'm gonna tell you about them in this video. So um talking about the history of crops, men started um planting these ones, like I said, like the crops. And let me gist you, many of these crops were found from two sources. Primarily one, archaeological discoveries. So they found some in some places, some seeds in some places, some in some field and all that. So we can trace the origin of plants, you know, like the countries or where it came from. And then, you know, when countries of the world started um, trading, like you buy from this, get from that, exchange for this, exchange for that, we were able to see the journey of these crops from one country to another country. And that is why we have a lot of crops, for example, rice across the world right now, but, origin, but rice originally comes from China. Thailand, Asian countries primarily, you know. If you have a contrary opinion, tell me in the comment section. So yeah, let me just give you the history of some of these crops and you just know. And shout out to Africa, you know. Yeah, I said shout out. I know what I said, man. So coffee comes from Africa. Yes, coffee comes from Africa. You know, you didn't know. Now you know. <laughs> so let me quickly read you through the parts so um like i told you archaeological excavations helped with all ex yeah excavations i was going to say evacuations but excavations helped get some of these seeds the seeds of some of the crops we eat today so let me quickly run you through kidney beans is originally from mexico you know that one we use in salads or in fried rice or whatever yes it's originally from mexico i think they call it mexico so um potatoes from south america and barley from egypt we have meal millet or rice from millet and rice from china we have cotton from india <laughs> we have coffee and okra from africa yes man sugar came from what thailand so these are some of the um origin of some of these crops that we eat today <laughs> aren't you glad so um outside of this you know i told you about the origin but now let me tell you about the different era that's come and gone and what kind of era we are in right now and this will also inform your decision in agriculture to inform your knowledge you know when you speak to farmers this will kind of help you understand something and don't forget i talked about agent orange ah you will hear about agent orange very soon so we have the blood sweat and tears era hmm. so that time you know i told you about the time that people were killing each other because of land mm -hmm. so that era women yeah, you'd be like, oh, is it just women? I mean, I've been talking about men. So now it's time to talk about women. So women back in those days, obviously, so let me tell you about this era. They had small farms. Many of these farms were handled by families, and then they basically fed the families. And women would have to, just like in, in, like in today, or as we have it today, women would have to care for the family, feed the children, whatever, and still go to farm. So it wasn't a day job for them. It was like, their life you know because the farm and then there was a lot of farming back then and hunger and a lot of starving was in the land so if you don't work you cannot eat kind of situation so women then were wearing big skirts <laughs> you know those of you seen like victorian era movies mm -hmm. yes layers those um big blouses that you wear with corsets and big skirts with socks and boots farm yes women were wearing those kind of things to the farm and you have you know what it means to till the ground and then hmm, so they were basically using for those that were hmm, i think kind of rich they were using oxen or animals you know cows to plow but because in this era it was basically they predominantly had like um small farms so it made it pretty difficult for women wearing all those kind of outfits so you see them in those big skirts and socks and everything and they'll bend down to till the ground yes i'm talking about harvesting i'm talking about planting i'm talking about everything imagine dragging your skirt your big skirt in the mud in the soil 
you know, while planting, I'm, I think it must have been very, I think it must have been very tedious for the women because then they weren't even wearing trousers. Because right now, you could, I mean, if I, if I was to go to the farm or something, I would get my top, get my jeans, you know, or I mean, get into something really comfortable. If I realized that um, there wouldn't be a lot of mosquitoes out there or whatnot, like wear shorts or something, just something to keep me, you know. Ready for the day's work. Women didn't have that. They didn't have that um, luxury that time. They didn't have that luxury, so they would wear the big skirt and everything, and bend down to the ground and farm. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> so they would do that, and I mean they had to provide for their families. They had to fend and everything. Ah, I pity them because it would have been a lot, and then. Can you imagine how much they will spend in, I don't know, how they will spend to wash their clothes. I wonder if it's a detergent, but I don't know if they were actually using detergents by that time. Do you think they were? Let me know. And then moving on to the next era.